Hello, this is Peter Newman. Today I'm going to be showing how to turn this STL file into a solid model, which is far more useful for meshing and analysis. And the process is as follows. I'm going to create a few planes to put on the uh, each side. And so we'll use the Design tab and we'll select a few We'll select exactly three points with the control key. One, two, three on that one edge and put a plane there. And then do the same on the other edge. Any three it, it was one, two, two. Put a plane there. And we're going to use those planes later on. So I'll hide them for now. What is useful in um, auto skinning, which is the way we're going to end up, holes off first. And it recognizes there are two holes. And we're going to use patch, which will put a curved shape over the top as opposed to cap, which will put a flat. And the reason is that when we um, patch, it makes it easier for the auto skin to surround this body. And uh, auto skin we want to use is on the uh, tools menu. And we'll just auto skin this and say, give it a try. And it fails uh, on just like one tiny edge. But uh, that is enough to not get a solid. So we need to go back to the facets tab and do some work. And the work we're going to do is we're going to, um, if we look in here closely, the, uh, there's a lot of small facets. Sorry, zoom back in here. Oh, there's a lot of small facets here. And we're going to use the regularize feature. So regularize. And here we can say we want small elements like 0.2 millimeters. This whole thing is about 81 millimeters long. And we're going to uh, do a that curves a long way. So we're going to pick the body and it, the watch automatically overwrites that after you pick the body. So point two and the mouse and go. So it's going to do a little work and then remesh. And then I'll try that again. See is uh, we've got more smoothly shaped things, but we've also introduced some um, chunkiness along the back corner. And we could do a little more work to smooth out that chunkiness on the back edge of this room. And we'll do that using um, smooth. So smooth will let you flatten peaks and uh, in the selection Toolbox selection filter, you want to draw a box and go through. And so we'll, we'll just select this back edge so that we'll apply the smoothing filter just to that, those, those facets there. And then we'll kind of smooth out the bumps a little bit, but we can um, redo that one again. Smooth it some more. Does smooth out that back edge a little. And we can keep the space mouse is a little, a little too sensitive here. But uh, with some amount of smoothing. We will go back to the. It's always good to check the facets. So check that the body 
There's no issues, no problems down there. That's what we want to see. So now we'll go to tools, auto skin, this guy. It's still not smooth enough on the back. So I'm going to continue smoothing until it uh, succeeds. So uh, you might also uh, force it to create some smaller um, some small entities along there. So back to the facets tab and uh, you might regularize and select that back edge. Ooh, well, it seems to be both sides, so that's good. And I'm going to do point one, so smaller than we were using before. We'll turn the angle threshold down to uh, or up. I think up is the direction. Yeah, actually, you can see the smoothing going on. It's going to keep banging on the uh, smooth button. So That's probably smoothed enough now that the CAD can wrap place around that. So let's give that a try. And uh, back to tools. It's not complaining about mesh. So generating the auto skin. And it has come back and successfully solidified this body. And uh, now we see why we put planes out here. We go to the design pad and split body, split that body there, and then split this body here. Delete key, so I'll just uh, make the select tool. So there is our um, solid model of the STL file. Thanks for watching.